welcome to a new video. So today I am opening a package. I ordered something myself and I'm so excited so nothing sponsored. Um, okay, so up until today I've been using uh, full frame or crop cameras with a mirror inside. I'm gonna make a switch to a mirrorless camera. And um, so yeah, this is my Nikon D750 with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens, aperture 2.8 uh, Nikon lens. Um, works great. Uh, all my cameras have a lot of clicks. So I have the D750, I have the D610, I have the D600. I once started off with the D3100 and then I switched to the D600. And I got a lot of clicks and it was so great. It didn't have any dust on the sensor. Then I got the D610, which I still have as a backup camera. They have so many clicks. Sometimes I just miss the focus on the eyes. And inside in the studio, it's okay. Like nine out of 10 times, I nail the focus, especially with newborns. They're sleeping, they have their eyes closed. You focus on the eyelashes, it's crisp and sharp. And that's great. Uh, but then when you have a sitter session or a kickstand session, there is a moving, well, it's not a toddler baby, like seven, eight, nine month old baby one-year-old baby going for the cake. They move around a lot, so sometimes they can already walk, they can definitely crawl. So they move around and they crawl towards the camera and you wanna get those photos sharp and in focus. Sometimes this one misses focus. So yeah, I have a single focus point, I move it towards the eye, I press my shutter halfway, it's focusing, click, beautiful shot, Later, I check it on my computer and I zoom in and I see it's not sharp or it has missed the focus. The focus is a bit behind the eye or in front of the eye. So like it, the nose is sharp or the shoulder is sharp or whatever, but not the eyes. And then I can't use that shot because as a professional, maybe a newborn photographer, I need to deliver sharp photos. Also, outside, it's worse. So maternity sessions, family sessions. Um, so sometimes like 25% of the photos are not sharp out of focus and you miss that beautiful shot which is why I click multiple times when I take a shot but then still you know afterwards you're going on your computer checking and you have this beautiful image that you know you took and then you zoom in and it's not sharp and it's the worst the worst so then I saw that the new cameras have like eye tracking uh, focus even like with pets, animals, especially with people. So I wanna make this uh, the switch. So I'm gonna open up this box. I'm gonna show you what's inside. Um, I am planning on using my old lenses for a while to see how that works. So it comes with an adapter. Which, yeah, I love my Sigma Art 105 millimeter lens. I love this 24 to 70 millimeter lens in the studio. So here we go, this one. Looked a little bit smashed, looks a little bit smashed. I hope the inside is still okay. So of course I'm gonna test this camera and show you final images. I'm gonna test it during several sessions. So, yeah, maybe in the future I wanna get those lenses which are designed for this camera. But then again, when I saw the 24 to 70 millimeter lens they have, it's already quite expensive and it's an aperture four and I wanna have an aperture 2.8 at least or even like bigger apertures, so. I know they have it, but it's like super expensive. Which is why I still want to use my old lenses. So this is the adapter. And of course, the camera will probably perform better with the lenses which are designed for these types of cameras. I don't think this is what I ordered. Oh yeah, it's just the body. I thought I would get a free lens, but I didn't. Because here in the top, okay, so you can see which camera I got. So I got the Nikon Z, Nikon Z. Nikon Z, I don't know, uh, six, and then it's the two, because they have an older version, which is the six, um, which didn't automatically have this like eye tracking focus thing on it, but you can update it, and then it does have the eye tracking software on it. This one already comes with it, and it's like a faster processor, and then you have like dual uh, memory card slot. Uh, but here it says it's a 24 to 70 kids. I didn't order that lens. It would be cool if that would be inside and they would give it to me. But anyway, it says body. So it's just the body. Okay, so let's open up the box. I also read that, or like saw on reviews, that even if that person, well, you have it like 
focusing on the eye and then the person looks away which babies do sometimes quite a lot and they look back at you the camera gets the eyes again in focus whatever so yeah i never want to miss focus again especially not with that shot when they crawl towards you okay <laughs> it looks like the box is pretty much like empty but this is what's inside i'm holding stuff so it doesn't fall through my laundry machine <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is what it's inside. It's getting hot in here. I think this one has like new types of batteries as well But you can still use the older battery probably but then it runs out faster. It's tiny so Here you see That's what it looks like Here you go So this is the new one the Z6 Two. First is the D750. So here you see them up close a little bit. As far as weight, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit smaller, it's a little bit lighter. Okay, so I need to get another battery grip or go without battery grip. It looks a lot smaller now. I hope, I hope people will still take me serious. As a photographer, so I'm attaching the handler strap, which I really like. So here we go. So this is what looks what it looks like now. So yeah, the screen can tilt, flip, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because I think that's always like a fragile part. Why would you want, I mean, I don't want my screen to tilt or flip, so I'm not going to tilt or flip it just cause it can break if you do it. And I tend to break stuff randomly. Follow me on Instagram and you'll find out. So of course, um, my old, Nikon D610 also does the autofocus thing when it's on auto I have it on the interval timer setting I actually have a video about it but anyway so the shop where I got it they're actually like giving away a 50 millimeter lens going with the new Z series uh, you have to take a photo of yourself with the camera and then take the camera store so I'm just gonna give it a try so I'm gonna try and take a photo of myself in front of like my working my newborn working area uh just with i'm gonna show you which camera i'm using i'm like holding this one like looking all happy with my new camera i'm gonna take them and hopefully i win the lens because that would be great because then i would have the 50 millimeter lens which is actually made for these types of cameras which is by itself already like 600 something euros okay <laughs> um no one's here but anyway so uh well the kids are in the living room um see so i'm gonna try to take the photo quickly and then uh, maybe i'll wait it it'll be cool so i can compare it using the real 50 millimeter lens meant for this type of cameras with the normal 50 millimeter lens and then the adapter on the same camera that would be cool so here you see the camera i'm using now for my selfie so this is the uh sigma art 105 millimeter on top of the nikon d600 um, with the godox speed light interval timer shooting Starting um, Hopefully I'll win. Probably not, but yeah, tried it anyway. Okay, so I just finished uh, charging the battery. I turn it on and this is what I get. This is something I'm not so happy with. So I paid over 2,000 euros to get a camera with an adapter. They come together. And now it says, firmware not supported. Upgrade. How am I going to do that? Okay, so now I've connected it to my MacBook and still nothing's working, nothing shows up. This, oh, I really don't like. Cause I'm a mom with two kids and I need to make dinner still put the laundry in the dryer and I don't have time for this I just want them to work straight out of the box 
Okay, here I read what I have to do. So let's go. Okay, so the camera has two slots, but not both SD, as you can see. Uh, so I'm gonna put the updated firmware on the SD card. But first, I need to format it in the camera. Okay, so today I will be using my mirrorless camera, the Nikon Z2, uh, for the first time during a newborn session, and I'm going to show you what I think about it. Session, session she was finally sleepy so and she was so calm asleep we already took all the photos family shots uh, prop shots uh, flocati shots whatever so she was chilling and I asked the parents if I could just quickly change cameras to test the camera and they said yeah no problem so I used the same lens same setting just taking the photo so you see the difference so here I have a photo taken with the Nikon D750 and here is a photo with the Nikon Z Z62. So um, yeah, you see, I put the white balance the same, shutter speed, ISO, aperture. Of course, probably a little bit slightly different uh, angle. Also, I was putting the autofocus on auto face detection, how eye detection, whatever. However, newborns have their eyes closed. So the camera was struggling quite a bit to get the focus correctly. Um, so yeah, what I also did was taking a photo and then pressing on the uh, screen where I wanted to focus, so with my finger, and it would automatically take the shot. I didn't know that, so that was interesting. So I just, I had the LCD screen on and I just pressed on the LCD screen and it took, it focused and it took the shot at the same time. So um, pretty accurate. However, I like to control focus points. So I also turn off the screen right now because I just want to have like the same as with the other camera, looking through the viewfinder and not having it all on my screen as well because it looks quite different than the image because I use flash and then I don't know, it looks, I don't know. I like it and also it takes a lot, a lot of battery and it just doesn't look to the, if the parents are looking over my shoulder to the image, what the image will actually look like because there is no flash and then there is flash anyway. So I have um, turn, press here the button on the side uh, and turning off the LCD screen. I'm just getting to know the camera. Okay, so I'm in the forest. I'm going to test for the first time outside the new camera with the Sigma Art 105mm lens. So my daughter's gonna film me. I'm gonna try and take a photo of Jamie. <laughs> Okay, somehow getting a sharp focus of a running dog is still very difficult. I put my shutter speed pretty high, but maybe not high enough. 1 slash 800, and normally I have like 1 slash 200. Which in turn, I had to increase my ISO. I have an aperture of like 3.2. She's running towards me. I have the live eye focus animals on and uh, also like continuous shutter, like and then like H with a star. I don't know. Uh, but still, not very sharp photos when she's like running towards me. Uh, but it's cool because if you look back at your image, it automatically goes to the eye so you can see if it's sharp. You don't have to zoom into the eyes. The camera's already doing that for you. And on people, uh, especially when they're standing still, it's absolutely amazing. Practice makes perfect, so I'm still trying. And if I have a good shot, I'll show you. Okay, so today I'm photographing a five-month-old baby boy. 
Um, so it's not a sitter session yet. He will be lying on his tummy, maybe a pillow underneath his chest, keeping his head up, smiling, lying on his back, grabbing his feet. I'm gonna start with uh, the eye tracking autofocus mode. If that's not working, or <laughs> I just I'm not comfortable with it yet, I'll go to the single focus point and I'll just focus on myself, or at least I'll pick the point the camera uh, can focus on. So I'm super excited to use this one today. If it's really not going the way I want, I'll change to my D750. Um, so that's great. So uh, super excited to test it again during an actual baby session. Um, but he won't be moving that much, I think. Maybe he's crawling already, I don't know. We'll see. So it's a little bit like a darker day, because uh, it's winter. Um, so I have my big softbox on the side with my Godox Speedlight. It's a 50 inch softbox with the Godox Speedlight on one slash 32. And then I have here, I uh, hope it doesn't fall off, another uh, speed light pointing towards the ceiling and it's on the lowest setting, 1 slash 128. And I might even turn it off because I like shadows falling on one side of the face. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Start with the mint green, then I have the creamy white, I have the dark wood and I have a dark blue background. Let's go. Reception with a new camera and half of the time I use the eye detection eye detection face tracking autofocus I don't know what it's called uh, the people version um, and it focused really well on the eyes super sharp and crisp when the baby was lying on his tummy or like sitting in the bucket but then when the baby was lying on his back like grabbing his feet he was of course not uh, like this in the frame. He was kind of like upside down in the frame. The camera had a harder time focusing on his eyes. I noticed for the first two shots when he was lying on his back, the camera was focusing on his feet because you can see the square locking on his feet instead of his eyes. So then I thought, okay, I'll quickly change to single focus point where I'm deciding where the focus should be. Focusing on the eye and then taking the photo and then it would hit 90% focus. It would hit 100% focus in 9 out of 10 images, you know what I mean? So uh, looking back, I know that some photos are not super sharp because of course the baby was moving. I probably wasn't, I mean my shutter speed is like 1 slash 200 so I can get, still get the flash in the photo. Babies are moving really fast. Uh, and then yeah, when I press the playback button to look at the photo, it would automatically give me a like a zoomed in capture of the eye so I could immediately see when it was in focus. Then I wanted to show the parents a shot so I zoomed out in the preview photo and now when I press the preview button it doesn't show me the close-up of the eye anymore, it just shows me the complete image. I don't know how I can change that back but I'm still learning. But the shoot went great, super adorable sweet little boy, so handsome. Okay so I'm outside for a maternity session with the Sigma Art 105mm lens. And I'm gonna try and have it on autofocus first where uh, the camera is looking for the eye of the person I'm photographing which in this case is a beautiful pregnant lady I have dresses, I have floral crowns It's winter but it's sunny um, So we'll see how it goes Okay, 
so we're back i'm back inside um it was cold but the photos are beautiful the light was beautiful winter light and the camera did just fine so yeah of course close up of the belly with the hands or with the shoes i switched to single point but it, overall it was fine so i'm also happy with the camera outside i think it went really well up till now i'm really happy uh, with the battery life just the colors contrast very similar to the other camera it works great i think for now it's fast it can be faster probably with the original lenses maybe even more accurate with the uh, autofocus but i'm happy up till now and i'll keep you updated uh, with further videos so thanks for watching have a lovely day bye bye